Hello guys, uh, today I want to show you how you can edit your photos uh, using Camera Raw in Adobe Bridge. I've got a number of photos here that I can uh, edit, ready to go. Um, I'm going to edit this particular shot here of the mountains. Um, Bridge is a fantastic boat program for viewing your, pro viewing your photos, uh, editing your photos, sorting out your photos, um, rating your photos, finding information about your photos. Uh, and resizing photos and applying things on mass so you can do many many photos uh, such as editing them very very quickly um, uh, through bridge so it makes things uh, much quicker than say for example editing in Photoshop where it's more individual so the first this photo here I'm going to uh, right click on it and go into opening camera raw now first of all though I just let you know that there are different viewing platforms or or ways to view your photos in Bridge. Um, I like to use this one here, uh, Film Strip, because I like to just toggle through my photos. So I've chosen my photo here, this one here. Um, it's a little bit dark. I want to bring out those colors of the autumn leaves uh, in the trees, okay, and, and lighten that up and really make those colors pop out. So I'm going to right click on it, open in Camera Raw. Okay, um, so down the right hand side here, I've got all these different sliders that I can use to edit my photo. I've also got a number of options up here, which can also be used to uh, edit and enhance the photo. Um, so you can go to a, a great extent in, to, in terms of uh, editing a photo with all these different options. Um, in this particular example, uh, I'm just going to focus on these tools here in this tutorial. Uh, here we have uh, the, here I can either change the temperature uh, of the photo, okay, I can make it cooler or uh, more warm. I can change the tint, I can make it more green or more uh, magenta, okay. I think it's pretty good where it is. I can lift the exposure up, so this photo is a little bit dark, it's a little bit underexposed in the foreground. I'm going to uh, bring up that exposure a little bit. Obviously I don't want to go too far and make it look unrealistic or overexpose it. So there. Uh, contrast, I can bring the contrast up a bit, just bring up a few more details. Highlights. Now the highlights are the, the lighter areas of the of the of the photo. Uh, now if I bring the highlights up, you'll see that the I start to lose the information in the clouds there. So the detail leaves the clouds. If I bring it down, I get a bit more. So I might take the highlights down a bit, so that just to bring those those beautiful clouds in there. Okay, bring that right down. Shadows. Now I can take the shadows up a bit. Or I can bring them down. I'll bring it up a bit, make it a bit lighter. The whites, okay. Increase the whites so that I can make it darker in the background. Might bring them up a bit. A bit. The blacks, once again, they might need to be a bit lighter. It's probably it's a bit dark, the picture. Then again, I could bring it down, get a bit more contrast happening there between the between the yellows and the and the greens there. Um, can improve the clarity here, a bit more clarity, a bit more detail. The vibrance, really bring those colors out, and the saturation. Okay, and it's already starting to look better, the photo. Um, another really cool tool you can use is uh, Curves. Uh, curves works by uh, dragging this line here, usually into an, into an S shape. And it tends to be, um, it's not as, uh, it doesn't exactly pinpoint um, the the changes so much, but it's uh, more uh, gut intuition, I think, as to how you do it. So, okay, I'm just going to uh, take that back down to what it was before because I don't need to do that. Okay, there's a curves. There's a number of other tools here that you can um, you can actually uh, say, for example, uh, uh, focus on particular colors. So, if I wanted to change the oranges, I can make them more orange. Okay, I can bring more orange in there. I can increase the yellows. Um, I can take it away from the green, add to the greens more. Okay, um, you can see the yellows there's way too much, and around the clouds there, get down a bit. Okay, uh, what else can I look at? Okay, so there's a number of other options there too. You can also crop as well, use a crop tool up here. You can crop the image if you want to. Hold down shift, you can crop it. Um, you can rotate the image if I bring that in a bit. 
you can see there I can rotate the image, straighten it up. All right. Just going to bring that back up again. Doesn't want to do it. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, okay. So now if you wanted to see before and after, if you hit the Y here, you can see that was the photo before I edited it here. You can see there's a, a vast improvement in, in the way the photo looks after. Okay. There's also a number of other tools up here as well that you can use, um, um, which you can experiment with. Okay. Once you're finished with that, once you're finished editing your photo, uh, to make the, per the changes permanent, you must save the image. Okay. If you just press done, the changes will be made, but they'll only be uh, temporary or they'll be able to be changed again. So if I hit done, okay, uh, if I bring this up a bit bigger, you can see there's a little icon there that, that shows that I've made changes to the image. I've done some editing, okay? Um, but if I open that up in Camera Raw again, have a look at it, okay, you can see on the slider here, all those changes have been made there. They're still there, okay? So you can then readjust it. But if I want to save that, so if I go to another computer and I want to be able to have that photo edited, I must save the image, okay, by pressing save here. Select the folder. I'm going to save it to the same folder. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. You've also got the option to save as a TIFF or a DNG. I'm going to save it as a JPEG in this case, which is a smaller file. You can choose your quality, so the quality here, maximum quality, okay, resolution 300. I'm happy with that. Press save. And if I press done, that image should be here saved somewhere. So one of these here is the saved image. You can see I've already done some editing beforehand. So that's all for this uh, tutorial on editing. So yeah, a uh, fantastic program to be able to, uh, that allows you to edit your photos um, whilst you're going through them. So thank you for listening. Bye for now.